Okay, I have my holes drilled and it's actually three different size holes. You got a, a small hole for the 256 inch um, screw and then you got a 440 screw for the terminal block and then you have a bigger hole that you need to be just big enough so you can get two wires through that bulkhead just like that. Um, our next step is uh, we're going to um, put it on our terminal block and that's the 440 screw and this um, I want to start putting some epoxy on and because of that I'm going to need to scuff up these again so I'm going to scuff up these two holes so that the epoxy will stick better and the same thing on this other bulkhead now this is the outside of the bulkhead um, and again you can tell which is the outside and which is the inside because the outside you know it has this little edge on it um, all right so i'm going to mix up some epoxy and this time i'm going to use um, the bond aid epoxy because it's um, it's not as messy <laughs> Um, and it, it hardens really quick. So I had a razor blade and this stuff, um, you just cut off a chunk. This is going to be cured in five minutes. So before I start mixing it up, I better be ready to go. It has an outer plastic on it. You just peel off. Um, so I want to get all my screws and nuts together, get them ready to go. Okay, so let's mix this up. Until we get a nice uniform color. Okay, so is going to go on the bottom of this one right here. I put my screw through it. That goes onto this one. Okay, screw it. You got to go in. Got a little epoxy on the threads, but that's okay because that will make sure that that nut doesn't come off. Um, just make sure that your holes aren't uh, blocked on either side. And then orient it the way you want. Uh, look at that. That's one. Um, then we got this one right here. Just put it on the bottom. That's going to push through there like that.
that's tight. Um, if there, I'll just kind of smooth out up that epoxy. I just don't want it sticking over the edge because it does have to slide into the tube. Um, so that looks fine like that. Um, I can do the other one, and I, I, if I have a little epoxy left over, I want to take that epoxy and uh, conform it around this switch right here. So that that switch will be there permanently. Just make sure you don't get it into the uh, mechanism right there. Um, that's kind of why I scuffed it up. So that's on there permanently. So if it ever has to come off, you probably have to hit it with a hammer and break that epoxy. Um, but that's on there good. So I'll go ahead and do the other side and then we can start uh, putting some wires into this uh, so that it's ready to go.